Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Studio. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Zooey Mom Podcast. Uh, today we are here to talk all about uh, the new Jeffrey McKay book, uh, The Deep End, our thoughts, our theories on it, what we think will happen, and Jeff Kenyon released uh, the first copy. Well, he put a picture of the first copy on Twitter, and we're going to be talking all about that. So I am here with guest um, Akshay from Real Time Fun. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Okay, so before we get into, I'm going to, in a little bit, I'm going to pull up the um, Dive Room McKid page. Um, first, we're going to talk about what do we think will happen in the deep end. You can go ahead and go first. So I, so I think it's going to be um, along the lines of what happened in the getaway. Um, they might travel to a place, but I don't think they're going to be traveling to a place in the deep end. I think the deep end will be more of like a local, like the town pool or something, and then probably like a flood happens from there. Or there's like a hurricane or something mm-hmm. along those lines. Yeah, I don't think that, I talked about this when we did our podcast on the Jeff Kenney's Boston Globe interview, but I don't think that, um, like this is like, if this is uh, a, like a road, if they're actually doing like a full on road trip book, which I'm not sure if they're doing it, if I'm not sure if it's specified clearly, but like they've already done a road trip in an airport book. And I guess, um, I guess these road trip themes are becoming common, but I'm just hoping that they would change it up because like as much as I, I think that road trip is like a classic theme to Dad Run the Kid, I don't want it to like be the same as like the other things we've already seen. Yeah, because if you keep repeating the theme, then the readers will get bored. Yeah. Even yeah. though different things keep happening. Yeah, I would say so too. So um, The Deep End comes out in um, two weeks from uh tuesday and we're and this will come out on a tuesday um so um we're gonna be collabing on the book review i'm pretty sure as well and so yep. um typically the books come out in november it comes out a little bit earlier earlier this year and um I'll, i'm also glad that um i'm also glad that jeff Kinney is still making these books and i'm not sure how far he's gonna go but i'm really surprised I'm really glad that he made it to book 15 and um, one thing that I noticed is that the stories uh, they are average some some are better than others um, I mean overall they're pretty good um, some are better than others um, the covers have gotten better over time I'm really the covers look really well and I'll pull the cover up in a second but what do you think of like the progress that he's made over time um well, okay well if you start with the first book and the actual quality of the stories, um, I'm gonna say they have deteriorated a little bit. Um, they're along the same lines of the things that are happening, but it's kind of like repeating of what he's already wrote before, or like, yeah. it's just not as interesting as before. But like, for example, over here, I have an old school, all of this lining around the cover that has been there from book one to 13. But when they are um, announced Dragging Ball, it got replaced with the nails. And now it's gonna be like a pool background. So with the covers, he's improved on that. Yeah. And the cover, the cover is what really is, what, you know, what, what attracts people to the book. And I think that I'm glad that he started out with like the basic, like the basic colors. He's done every color besides um, pink and- um, Thank you. He hasn't done. I think, I don't, did he do white? I don't think he hasn't oh, done on the movie diaries he did. The movie diaries, but yeah. So those are, so we have a, another blue cover and blue is pretty popular when it comes to uh, this, but I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to share my screen right now. Um, hold on. You're showing up the tweet, right? Yeah, this and then I'll do the tweet. Okay. Okay, can you see that? Yes, we can see this. Okay, so uh, this is the page that we have right here. Um, here is the cover. So what do you think of this cover overall? It's very interesting. And I think, it, I think it's gonna be, it's a good marketing strategy because the cover, is, it, it, it attracts people uh, because Greg is under the pool and there's so many people above him. It looks like a catastrophic pool accident. Yeah, yeah. I'm, um, I'm really excited because this cover, um, it's 
blue and recently like i've been talking about the covers before it's um the sidings are like two different colors here it's two different shades of blue and i think that this cover looks really awesome i'm not my favorite i'm not even sure we can talk about we can talk about another time but um i mean this is really i really like i really like this cover and i'm real the um it shows like i, I don't i don't know but I'm pretty proud of him for making up new covers and I'm excited to see what it's like. Um, so the plot, um, I'll highlight it. In the Deep End, book 15 of the Diary of the Kid series from number one international best-selling author Jeff Kinney, Greg Hefley and his family hit the road for a cross-country camping trip ready for the adventure of a lifetime. But things take an unexpected turn and they find themselves stranded at an RV park that's not exactly a summertime paradise. When the skies open up and the water starts to rise, the helpers wonder if they can save their vacation or if they're already in too deep. So what do you think of that summary or plot, whatever? Well, one thing that throws me off is that it says cross-country camping trip. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what they exactly mean by that. Do, do you know what they mean by that? I mean, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I, there's a couple different things. One is that cross-country, like... I mean, this, it means several different things. One, of course, is like, it's the sport, but I don't see them. I'm not sure if I see them bringing that in cross country in the sport. Um, especially, I mean, they might, but it almost seems like they're hitting the road. Um, it almost seems like they're going on a regular trip, but having, bringing in cross country, yeah, kind of confuses me. It'll be interesting to see uh, what happens there. But um I think that it does sound interesting, but it sounds a lot like the long haul. I'm not sure what you oh, think. Def definitely, it's very, it's very similar to the long haul. And I don't like, judging by the information we know now, it's gonna be pretty much a repeat of the long haul. Although maybe a little different story. But when we actually get the book, which releases on October 27th, right? When we actually get the book, we'll read it. And if it's not a copy, then we can talk about what's different. And if it is a similar story, then we can just tell you what was diff what was similar and different. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, the plot looks interesting. I mean, anything that has all the Hefleys involved, and that's what I really liked about Wrecking Ball. We got to see the family together, and that's what I kind of miss from that's what I kind of miss from the books. So I'm down for anything that involves all the Hefleys, but. And again, based on this information, it definitely sounds a lot of the long call. It'll be interesting to see if they do any changes or not. But um, yeah, um, but I do, re I do really like the cover. There's some trivia uh, facts right here. And we can read these predictions really quick that other people wrote. Um, based on the description of this book, we can guess that Greg's trip will be the main part of this book. This would be then be the third time a trip has been the highlight of a book, the first time being the long call and the second being the getaway. And it's gonna be very similar to dog days. Um, so what do you think about that prediction? I, okay, so um, I think that's probably gonna be what it is. I don't like, it's it, it's obviously gonna be similar. It, it cannot not be similar to some books that already exist. But the question is how similar? Will it be like the same story, but like written in a different way? Uh, will it be like the same, same rising action, but then the climax is different? Mm -hmm. We don't know any of that yet. Yeah, um, and it's interesting that they bring up Dog Days. I mean, because um, Dog Days was the one and only. Well, no, they have other summer books, but this is Dog Days is um the most popular. The one focused on summer. Yeah, the one most focused on summer, the most popular one, and it's yellow, so that's pretty that pretty much means that it's going to be summer. But um, yeah, it might be a mix between the long haul and the getaway. But um, there's a, also another one here that says the Hefley family could be escaping homelessness by going on this trip because due to the events and wrecking ball, they are currently without a home. Uh, what do you think of that prediction? Well, at the end of wrecking ball, they decided not to move and then their house collapsed. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they okay. So they are uh, currently without home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like, okay. If you see, if you see the third prediction, it is also possible that they can move into an RV, due, due, due to the description mentioning an RV park. So that I think that's probably what's gonna happen. Like the 
like they're probably going to move into an RV because if you remember in the long haul, they had that idea, but they didn't do it. So they're probably going to say, oh, it's more practical now because we don't have a house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that they set up, I think they set up the end of Wrecking Ball because, so yeah, they're currently homeless. They currently don't have a house available to live in. It ended it ended off with um uh wrecking ball ended off with technically their house is unlivable it's um collapsed they uh, the um hot tub went through the house um and it's unlivable you can't live there so currently they lost everything and um i got to ask a little one little question that's kind of off topic are you glad that they didn't move or whatever or what do you think i'm glad they didn't move uh because I mean, okay. Let's think about this. Let's think about it this way. If if they moved, what would the fifteenth book be like? Yeah. Would yeah. there be like would it introduce you to Greg's new school, Greg's new characters? Uh, I mean, or like sorry, the Greg's new school and the new characters. But like, or will it will it show Rowley? Because like all the all the previous characters, they're they're just gonna be gone if they moved, and then the um the the readers might not like that. Some might, some might not. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I would agree with that. Um, the thing is, is that um, I don't think that they have. I don't think that they're gonna do anything like that because Greg and Riley's friendship. I did a video on this, just talking about their timeline. They have such a strong and interesting friendship throughout the um, throughout the course of the series that if they end that, then there's that's gonna be a part of one big kid that's not gonna be there anymore. And so I think that. They could do some. They could do something where like they. It's more like kind of like a reboot type of thing where like there's brand new characters. It's kind of a repeat of the earlier thing, but that wouldn't that wouldn't make much sense because you know um, it would fit in the Wimpy Kid world. Yeah, Wimpy Kid world is like with Rally. It's with you know. It's with like Greg struggling in middle school. And if he moves somewhere else, we're gonna miss those same characters. Now Rally and a couple other ones are really the only ones that are involved in later books, but. And there's just there will be a piece of it missing if they didn't move. So I'm glad that they didn't move. Yeah. Um, and um, so those are the predictions. I'm gonna move over to uh, Jeff Kenny's. And okay, before that, before that, I, I want to say something. So, okay. let's say even if, even if Jeff Kenny decided to restart the series and Greg moved, right? Yeah. Then it would it would have been weird because. If if you just started from book one again, but they would be all different friends, right? It mm-hmm. wouldn't it wouldn't be suitable because everyone would be confused. Oh, where's Rowley? Where's Fregley? Where's where's the I forgot his name, the guy who kept spreading rumors. Um, so I don't yeah. Know. I don't remember. So it would be kind of it would confuse the readers. So that's why mm-hmm. he shouldn't have done that. So this is the first copy uh, that Jeff Kinney get got. Um, I think I think it looks I think it looks really nice. This is the the closest that we'll actually get to to seeing it. Um, so um, he posted this on October first. Um, typically, they release a sneak peek of the new book about six weeks before its releases. I'm not sure if they're gonna do that. I thought it was three weeks. Uh, almost three weeks. Right? I'm not sure. I think they did one time where they the book came out in November and they released a sneak peek in July. I think it just depends on that, how was, that was double done because double uh, because um after old school everyone thought the series was gonna end so they had to keep like saying oh it still exists it still it still exists that's why uh, they had to keep teasing double down yeah so that and, was a one time thing mm-hmm. um so yeah typically I'm not sure maybe they might they might release a sneak peek I don't check the Wimpy Kid website out that much um, the same but um. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at that um, a little bit later. But so um, I'm glad that he has the first copy, and the 27th isn't that isn't that far away. They released the news at the end of May about the new Deborah McKid book, and I'm really um, it's it hasn't it's not that long. I mean, May to October that's not that long, and we're only a couple weeks away. And one of the highlights of my of um each year for me is getting the new Deborah McKid book because it's such a good series. Um, and to that October, November time, it I just really I think um, I think it's just very fun just to get it, and it's and it's a really good series. What do you think? I I agree with you because 
if it's something that never dies, right? We we it keeps coming each year. We keep enjoying it. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I mean, the past generation, the past generation, when they see this, they're like, "Oh, he's still making this." But in our generation, we're like, "Oh, okay, we're we're excited for the new book." Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna switch back to um. I'm gonna switch back to here. So okay. Um, as we wrap this up, I have one final question for you. So um. Um, well, I know you said you haven't pre-ordered or pre-ordered yet. Are you hoping to, um, are you hoping to get it like the day it comes out or are you going to like wait a little while to get it? No, no, no. I'm, I'm planning to get it the day it comes out. I'll probably ask my dad like today or tomorrow to pre-order it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I always get it the day it comes. Last year was an ex- exception because I had a bunch of schoolwork and then I forgot to ask. And then I ended up only getting it in February, but other than that, I've been getting them on the release date every single year. Mm-hmm. Same here. We typically pre-order it. Um, typically pre-order it pretty early on because now with COVID and everything, like Rally's book came in two days late for me because we didn't pre-order until a couple weeks before. But like with um, uh-huh. COVID and everything, it causes like delivery dates to be confusing. So yeah. So what happened with us? So we ordered it on wait. It came out August 4th, right? So yeah, of course. We, we ordered it on like August 6th and then it came on August 8th. So that's what, that's what we did. So it wouldn't be any delay since it was already out. Yeah. But um, it's still, it's still, I think we ordered it early enough. So it's still set to come out October uh, 27th. So I'm really excited. Um, we'll hopefully be back to collab uh, probably For early the on the book review and that's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah. anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I think that's it. We have covered a lot in this video. Yeah. So um, I want to uh, thank everyone for watching the studio. Make sure to go check out Akshay's channel. It'll be in the link below. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys all next month sometime. And hopefully go pre-order the Darwin McKid Deepin book right now. And we're all really excited about it. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching in. Bye.